Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this beautiful gradient flower animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So we have our composition. Let's create one more for our petals and let's call this one petals and let's uncheck this and i'm going to make this one 800 by 800 rest of things will remain same just click on ok now inside this composition we are going to create a single petal for the flower so let's select the pen tool and also i'm going to enable the grid now i can simply zoom in and let's just click somewhere around here now you can pick a point so for example let's pick this one just click and drag till you see these handles so i'm going to like drag it to this point you can hold on the shift key perfect so after this we can click somewhere around here and after that we can click over here and just click and drag and we are going to like move it to the same location and then just click to this so that we have the single leaf now once you have this we can get rid of our grid so here we have our shape now we are going to apply some effects to this so let's search for cc bend it and let's drag it on to this we are basically going to move our petal by using this bend property but you will notice one more thing if i move it like this you can see it will start cutting off these edges and we can fix that by simply adding a small expression to this so hold on the alt key and we can click on this start and end which is these points which defines from where we want our bend to start so here you can see it will start cutting it but we are going to fix that by adding an expression so let's just set this to zero now hold on the alt key click on this stopwatch and after that type this expression to comp and under the braces just type value now just copy this and hold on the alt key click on this stopwatch paste it so we have added both of these expressions now your petal will go away so we can select this bandit and you can see we have these two points over here just select the endpoint and I'm going to place it at the bottom. And let's select the start point and we are going to place it somewhere at the top like that. So now you can see we can easily bend it like that. Now in order to animate it, we can add a keyframe and let's press U and let's move this to somewhere around two seconds. Now let's add a keyframe. Now let's go to the very beginning and I'm going to set this value to negative 90 so that we have this motion. Now we can select this. Let's press S, add a keyframe for scale. Let's press R, add a keyframe for rotation. Let's press U. So these two are going to be our final position. Now in the beginning, we want the rotation to be negative 135. And you will notice that it will flip because we have to change the anchor point as well. So let's select the move anchor tool and just hold on the control key and just move it so that it snaps over here. Now go to the very beginning and I'm going to set this to negative 135 and after that we can set the scale to zero. Now if I press play you can see our leaf will come up like that. So we can select these two keyframes press F9 let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph so your graph will be like this and in the beginning we want this to be like extremely fast so I'm going to change it like that. Now if I press play you can see we have this very nice petal animation and after that we don't want it to stop so i can go to somewhere around let's say six seconds and i can change this value to let's say nine so that instead of stopping it will like go to this point and then move like a little bit more ahead and we can set this to negative five we basically we are damping the motion let's set this to three let's set this to negative one and over here we can set this to zero so it will start and then it will go back to its original position. Maybe we can move these keyframes a little bit closer. Select all of them, press F9 to ease them. Now, if I go to the graph editor, if I zoom into this location, you can see a graph kind of stops over here. We actually want to have a smooth motion. So for that, we can select this point, right click keyframe velocity and make sure that this continuous is checked. Now we can zoom out and we can easily select this this point and just lift it up a little bit so that it won't stop but instead it will have this very smooth motion like that so now it will like move slowly to all the other keyframes maybe the distance is too much we can lower it down also let's go and we can change these curves to look a little bit like that perfect 
So now we have our animation and we are ready to stylize this with some nice, really nice colors. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Now if I go to the fill and click, you can see from here we can change it to this gradient color. Just click on OK. Now let's select the selection tool and you can see we have these two handles so let's place one at this point and we want the other one to be over here now we can click on this and just change the colors instead of white we can like make it nice blue and for the other one we can make it this blue but a little bit darker somewhere around here let's click on okay so you can see we have this very nice color you can play around with the gradient by moving these however you want i think this looks good now we can do the same thing on the stroke as well so just click on stroke and from here we can select this and i think it's already black and white so we can just play around with these two things and let's move it to the beginning and just move it to this side so that we have this very nice and highlighted edge perfect so here we have our shape now we can add more highlights and colors to this by simply selecting the pen tool and let's just draw a very random shape there you go now we can set the stroke to zero and fill we can set this to a normal color like that now instead of this we can set this to white and on top of this let's search for gaussian blur let's drag it onto this make sure that this is unchecked now if i increase this you can see it will like make it extremely this now we can change its track mat so for that make sure that you have this option selected now let's select the track mat option and from here we can just simply pick whip and just select the bottom layer so it will only be visible where we have this layer but we also want our background to be visible so we can just click on this so now you can see we have both of these things visible again we can press s let's just scale this up press r to rotate it so here we have this very nice highlighted edge and just place it close to this line so you can see we have the edge now in the same way we can select this press ctrl d let's place one over here and this time we can change its color so i'm going to like make it pink and let's press r just rotate it to give it a really nice angle and now if i press play you can see we have this petal and we have these very nice colors added to this now at last you can add some glow to this for that let's add an adjustment layer and let's search for glow let's drag it on to this now we can increase the amount let's decrease the intensity now we can press ctrl d and over here we can increase the amount and this as well just play around with these values till you find something that looks good i think this looks good now at last we can duplicate it once again and just increase it and increase this as well so we have this very nice petal and this very nice glue as well so we are done with a single petal now we can duplicate this and create more so for that let's go to the main and let's drag in our petal one and if i press play here we have this first petal now let's enable the title action save and let's just move it to this point now let's select the move anchor tool and we can select its anchor point and hold on the control key and just move it so that it is at here yeah i think this looks good so now we can duplicate this layer to create the rest of the flower so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to duplicate it like nine times then we can press r to reveal all of these now on the first layer let's type 360 and i'm going to divide it by number of petals that we want so for example i want nine petals i'm going to divide it by nine which gives me 40 now on the second one i'm going to just type 40 plus 40 and on the next one 80 plus 40 and we are going to repeat this step so 120 plus 40 this will be 200 240 280 320 and this one will be 360 so here you can see we have our flower and let's select all the layers and just hide them now we can select all of them and change their mode so just click on this and under the mode instead of normal we can set this to add so now you can see we have this very nice flower and if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation already applied at last you can add a null object so right click let's add a null object select all of these layers just parent them to this null let's select this press r let's add a keyframe now just go to somewhere around here and i'm going to like rotate it like this 
Let's select this, press F9. Let's go to the graph and make sure you are using the speed graph. Let's change the graph to look like that. Let's move this keyframe far away. Now, if I press play, you can see we have this flower with this very amazing rotating animation. So in this way, you can create these kind of flowers. And if you want to change the colors, it's also quite easy. So let's add an adjustment layer. And on top of this, we can search for hue and saturation. So let's search for hue. Let's drag it onto this. Now we can change the hue master so that it will create these very nice and beautiful colors. It's up to you, you can play around with this and also you can add some glow at last if you want. So let's drag it over here. Now let's just increase this and I'm going to load it down. So here you can see we have our flower with all of these nice colors and everything. So this is how you can create these kind of flower animations in After Effects. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.